Okay, Aquarius, let's move into, okay, your spiritual mastery here. All right. So. Okay. I feel like the more you try to control the things around you, okay, the less you know what to do. And um, it's almost like oh, a release here that you are, okay, you know that you've chosen someone who can't be controlled, okay? And that someone that, you know, just cuts you so deep. Okay, it's almost like a punishment, I feel like, all right? Like you, um, you don't know how to get this person to, you know, treat you like the friendship, okay, that first started all of this. And you don't know how to break free from this hold that you feel like this person has, okay, on your heart here. Okay, because the problem here is that you, again, are putting all the love out for everyone else. Okay, you're not putting the love into you, which is changing. Okay, with that nine of pentacles we saw in your reading, you're starting to give to yourself. You're starting to um, heal yourself. But you do have to... Oh, good. This is an energy that you have to clear. Okay, for why is it that you don't love yourself as much as you have love for everyone else? Okay. You do allow, okay, attraction to be a leader for you. Um, in a lot of ways, you are a very... Um, I feel like tactile, like person, okay, and but it's it's a lot of it's visual, okay, and um, the pheromones and the way that they you know come to you, and some of it is based on um, trauma bond memories, okay, for whoever that resonates with. and that you just have faith and trust people, okay? You just trust that it will all be okay because, well, if we're friends, all right, it's going to be okay. This is going to work out. Okay, and it's time for you to take the space that you need, okay? When you move on, it may be time to um, make sure that you are distant from this person on social media, Okay, because the temptation, all right, is very high for you to continue to take this person back. All right. Yeah, okay. You're working on that King of Pentacles energy here for yourself. This inner abundance, you are about to have a breakthrough. Okay, you are about to break through that suppressive energy. I feel like you're having this wake up, okay? And you are starting to question, okay, why do I have this repeating cycle? What is it that I am doing with calling this in? Why am I calling this in? Okay. And... Part of it, I feel like, okay, I feel like as a child, maybe you felt alone and you were always reaching for stability, okay? And so you sometimes grasp onto things that probably were a little too far away for um, a good reason, okay? Yeah. 
And right now there is a lot of that mental fatigue, a lot of exhaustion. And that's in that throat chakra. You can see, okay, that this exhaustion, this mental exhaustion is in that throat chakra. And you've got to clear out and learn to start saying and asking for what you need, what you believe in. Um, again, because I feel like spark, they're showing me spark. And then blah, everything comes out that you don't want to say. All right. And then what happens is then, okay, you have to be like the playful energy to try to make things back to where they were. And that leaves you feeling sorrowful. Okay, but you can see, all right, the door is open behind this person. So the only prison really is within yourself. Okay. And you're starting to get that. You're starting to think about, okay, what is it here that I need for my rebirth here? What is it here I need to heal for my heart? Okay. What do they want? Okay. Yeah, okay. The thing that's holding you back from this King of Pentacles is yourself. All right? Because you do have to stand up and fight to have the stability that you want, seek, and deserve. Okay? But you're not allowing yourself to look at this because that means movement on. And that means, um, you know, down and dirty, hard work, okay? That means, um, you know, having to be the bull. But you're not quite ready to drag yourself there is how it feels. Okay, some of this has to do with either a previous marriage Okay, or your parents, okay, when you were younger. And um, it really has done a number on you. Make sure that you are really, okay, turning this page, they're showing me, of whatever this is that you were through, that you went through. They're like, that is part is over. Okay, it's over. Yeah. Okay, you've got to let yourself walk away from this, but you're not. Okay, that's the problem here. You don't think you're strong enough. Okay. This has a lot of heartbreak in it. And I do feel like, um, you know, for some of you, the third party here is the fact of um, the demons, okay, inside of you and choosing and re-choosing to punish yourself, okay? Yeah, okay. You're recreating. This came right down on that Four of Wands. You are recreating, okay? And being the Empress, it's how you were nurtured, okay? You're recreating this again and again, all right? Detach your emotions from this situation, okay? Again, this is about you trying to control something that you cannot, okay? But you can detach your emotions from it and ground yourself because the opposite of that is this stomping around and this 
you know, I don't know if you've seen the video of the little elephant throwing a tantrum and then its mother walks on by and then it runs up to catch up with it, okay? You can stomp around in the mud and make a fit and everything, or you can just walk away, okay? The options are up to you on how grounded you are. Okay, and again, there's the digital detox. I do feel like, all right, you need to make sure that as you move away from this, that you are not connected to this person because um, there is a huge risk for you to go back to this again and again and again, all right? All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Okay, now little ladybug, you just have to fly. All right. Okay, here's the thing, all right. This person that you are dealing with, they... I feel like do have their own pressures, okay? And it's too much pressure for them to change. They're not going to change here, okay? They do tell you, okay, that they feel this bond between you, it's very special, and then they turn around and kind of walk away, go their own way, and, um, shut down from you, okay? Because it's right here on this Four of Pentacles. Close themselves off. And I feel like that, again, is very much about how you experience life as a child, okay? And they're really showing me that, okay, you may miss out on a big opportunity here if you don't figure things out here. Okay, for what you, you know, what's being shown to you, because everything is in the timing. Okay, there is something that is being offered to you, and it's all in the timing, and you're not looking at it. So take another look. If you feel that is light and that is for you, okay, they're guiding you to say, take another look at that. All right. Okay. Again, patience. Through the darkness to the light. All right. You are about to go on this path. And um, as long as you open the doors and don't restrict yourself, there is light at the end of this tunnel. Okay. Trust that your movement forward, okay, that it's the way it's meant to be. It's the season. It is your season. Okay, they're really showcasing to me here, you know, how the birds fly south. Okay, tis your season to move forward, to have this rebirth. Okay. Yeah. All right, I do feel like you have dreamt about this. But this circle around her head, to me, with the animals going all the way around it, is the divine timing, okay? And it says, be aware of your dreams, okay? What's being offered to you? What is your dream here? What illumination are you having? Because it's got these trees all growing out, okay? Whatever this is, this is your grounding. This is your rooted energy that's being offered to you, whatever this opportunity is, okay? And it's coming now, all right? So let me give you a little bit of advice here. Thank you, okay? Genuine gratitude increases the attraction of opportunities. Okay, little things count. Be grateful for all of your life. 
It could be just opening up to thank you for putting me at the right place at the right time for this opportunity that suddenly you see it, okay? Yeah, because we have to silence the mind a little bit, okay, when we're trying to manifest, okay? And we have to take inspired action, all right? I feel like what you don't realize is that you've already manifested this opportunity, which is why it is there. And it takes being in present moment, okay, in order to align and make that movement forward. Okay, take the next step, all right? Take the next step. This is all about you having that strength within yourself to make this move, okay? Yeah, coming out of your shell, all right? This is a growth, expansive, expansion, okay? Progressive cycle that you are moving forward on here, all right? Let's get a couple more cards to close this off, all right? Yeah, you are on a new beginning here if you will allow it, okay? And it's going to come slowly, but like the cosmos, okay? It was not built in one day, right? Okay? Yes. And the universe, all right? You will start to see that the universe is working with you and that things are showing up in this new beginning as you trust yourself and move forward towards it, okay? For some of you, I feel like it could mean, okay, late nights initially. Um, okay, you may feel like this step away from this person that you're gonna be lonely, but you'll find your pack, okay? And the wolf, it says here, a man might befriend a wolf, even break a wolf, but no man could tame a wolf, okay? Your spirit is still within you. And you, okay, there's divine timing again. Okay, if you push this off, it slows down your progression. So it is really important for you to recognize the beautiful blessing that you have here. Okay, and to move forward on it. Listen to your gut. Okay, whatever you're feeling after listening to this spiritual mastery, okay, trust yourself. All right, so Spirit says many times the traveler is not born of the same skin of the past, okay? So whatever this rebirth for you is, it is letting go of that skin of the past, okay? Whatever it is that you're holding on to and repeating again and again and again, all right? So I hope that this helped you. And um, next week, Spiritual Mastery will be in Patreon, okay? And it will be part of a package deal with the Monday through Friday current energies and the um, extended videos. All right. Much love, guys. Bye.